All right, everybody, Golf Clash players around. Wanted to update uh, a video on setting up grid lines for Golf Clash and also add the Zoom feature uh, for Golf Clash. So nothing fancy here, but just the details on how to do that. Uh, first thing we want to do is go over to settings. Okay, open up settings. We're going to set up grid lines first. Um, grid lines uh, look like this. Show grid continuously. Since it is part of the voice feature, um, you can turn them on and off with your voice. So I'll turn them on right as I'm getting ready to make my shot. <clears throat> and once I've made my shot, I can turn them off. Hide grid. That way the grid's not in my way. Um, I can watch the other player make a shot and it saves battery. The grid, um, the grid lines use battery um, faster than you normally would um, without them. So I turn them off um, a bit while I'm playing. Uh, show grid continuously. Hide grid. So those are the two things you do. Set up your grid. You're gonna go down here to accessibility, bottom left, click accessibility. Then you're gonna go over to voice control, which is in the middle right, voice control. Click voice control. You're gonna turn voice control on. Then you're gonna go down and, and just mimic these settings, okay? Show confirmation is gonna be on. Play sound off, show hints on, overlay. We're gonna click overlay. <clears throat> then we're gonna go to numbered grid. All right, and then make sure you have these automatic dimming off 100%, uh, your dimmed opacity at 100%. Tap by default on number rows four. Okay, click number rows. Come down here to four, mine's on already, but click four, okay? Then back, go to the back button up top by the overlay. Then you go number of columns. I have mine set at two already. Go down to two, mine's already checked, but go down to two. Then the back arrow up very, very top, the overlay back out. And you have your grid line set up now. Hide grid. Show grid continuously. There it is. You've got your grid line set. Um, I'll show you in a little bit why I set grid lines like this. That middle grid, the middle line right down the middle, you're going to use that when you're pulling your shots, pulling or pushing your shots. That is going to allow you to keep your pull 100% even. Last thing you want to do is be pulling and, and, and fading to the right because you're messing up your shot. It's not a true pull. You're, you're getting away from the target in a sense when you're not you're not even know you're doing it without that grid line the horizontal grid at the very bottom that is used for when you're doing hook shots and slice shots and you're pulling your needle to the right or left you'll be able to, to keep an even so you don't get any overpower or underpower you'll be able to keep your shot at a at an even pull so you know that you're not into overpower by accident um, it'll definitely help you there so we'll show that in a minute okay uh, the next thing i want to show you um, is also i'm going to back out of voice control okay i'm going to back arrow very top out of voice control i'm going to go out of accessibility okay now back to the main um, settings is we're going to go over zoom and I'm going to show you what Zoom. Zoom is also found in the uh, accessibility, bottom left. It's under accessibility. It's the second one down, Zoom. Right now, mine is on. I've clicked it. And here's the settings for Zoom. Let me show you what Zoom does. If you see that little box in the top left-hand corner, I just turned it off. Top left. I just turned it on. Now you should be able to see it in the top left-hand corner. Let me show you what that does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to my replays. So you can see it's setting there on the top left and I'm just gonna do a, 
a replay. I don't know what shot this is, but it is going to zoom your wind arrow. Look at that. And I can move it if I wanted to. Look how small the zoom, the, the wind arrow is there. And now look. It's going to allow you to know when you are in true north so much easier than that little tiny arrow um, you can make it bigger make it smaller i have mine set and i'll show you the settings for mine but look i'm getting ready to make my pull look how big that arrow is i'm going to be able to tell so much easier also you can see the middle um grid line that i use to make my pull to make a perfect pull Not a very good shot, but... Nice off! All right, so we'll watch that one more time. So you can see the zoom arrow, or the arrow that's zoomed bigger. And then let's watch on my pull. Let's see if I make a straight pull or not. You can see my grid line, so you'll be able to just watch the center of the bullseye as I make my pull. <clears throat> All right, truth. Let's see. I center it right in the middle. Try to get that arrow straight up and down, and I make my pull. Oh, that's pretty good. Didn't have to pull very far, but it allows you to pull straight, absolutely straight. If that north arrow, the arrow is is uh, perfectly north, and you stay in the middle of that grid, you're gonna make a perfect pull. Nice on. All right, so let's look at the settings for Zoom, okay? Remember, again, it's under accessibility in the bottom left. Zoom is the second one, all right? And then you're going to turn Zoom on. Follow focus is off. Keyboard shortcuts off. Zoom controller off. Zoom region is going to be the window Zoom, okay? Then I'm backing out of there, the back arrow of Zoom at the very top. Zoom filter, none. Show while mirroring. Show while mirroring, uh, I, I usually have off. It's for recording. When you're recording your screen, whether you have it on, and I always turn it off because you don't want, it, it blocks some of the view. So, I mean, you can turn it on and off. It doesn't matter, but it's for recording, okay? And then zoom level. I put mine at 5.2. Um, you'll be able to move that around to figure out how big you want your zoom arrow. Um, see the text up there software. So I'm at 5.2. I can I can make that Actually, it's not making that one bigger um, It will if the, if the arrow was in there it would I Think because that's default text in there, but 5.2 is where I put it um, I Think that's everything for setting this up. Oh, okay, actually um, so regarding the zoom window, okay? Um, you have settings there. Zoom out, um, choose region. We're never going to touch that. Zoom out, we don't touch that. Resize lens, we will. Resize lens will give you those corners because right now yours is probably big. Yours is yours. Is, I don't remember what it, how it comes to set, but you're going to have to play with this to shrink it down. And even once you like, I'm not going to be able to get it back to exactly the way I had it a while ago, but I'll get it pretty close. I'll be able to zoom it down to try to catch that arrow. Um, other features in there. Uh, we won't use choose filter and we won't use. So the only thing we're really using in here is resize the lens. Sometimes you have to push that resize the lens a couple times. Um, and all I did is I tapped outside of it to get it to go away. But in order to open that menu, that bottom little minus sign there, the bottom circle oval, you just touch it with your finger and it opens that. Resize lens, sometimes it's, it's performing well right now, but sometimes it doesn't perform, it doesn't, I click it, click it, click it, finally it opens up. But um, I resize it approximately where I think it's gonna be, click outside of it anywhere, I'm just clicking over here by number six. 
then I'm going to move it. I'm going to hold that oval and I'm just going to drag it up here to approximately where it's going to be. Now let's go play a game or a replay. <clears throat> oh, here, we'll do this replay. It's a good one. You like this one. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, well. All right, so let's play with this wind arrow over here. Make sure we've got it first in the right spot. Now, so it's way to the left. So I'm going to grab that, that oval and I'm going to kind of drag it to the left to kind of bring the, the zoom arrow in. Now I'm, I'm low, I'm on the text, so I'm going to bring that up some. And I'm still dragging it up some. I got there we go. So that might be pretty good. And I, I can make it smaller if I want the, the actual box itself. I'm actually a little low, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more, okay? It's kind of center the wind. Great shot! Okay, so let's, let's do that again. So let's say my box, I'm, I'm clicking the bottom oval. Let's say, let's say um, the box was bigger. You came in here and your, your box, this is the way you came into the screen. You're like, oh boy, mine's way too big. What do I do? You're going to push that little bottom oval, resize lens, and kind of dial it in to where, where you want it. Now, I'm lopsided a little bit, so I'm going to touch outside, and then I'm going to grab that oval, and I'm going to move it a little bit and kind of center the, the arrow. A little low, I'm on the text a little bit, on the numbers, so I'm gonna raise it just a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty good. Great shot! Right. So I think, I think, uh, hide grid. Hide grid. The voice feature, if there's any other sounds going on, say you got a TV in the background playing or any other sounds going on, or the game is talking, nice shot. As you try to say hide grid, it's not going to catch it. It's got to be quiet. Show grid continuously. And boom, there's the grid back. All right, so my box is a little big for my liking. I'm going to shrink it down. So I'm touching that oval at the bottom. See, I touched it three times. It didn't do nothing. There it is. Resize lens. You see, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Great shot. Uh... Let's try to resize this box. See, it's not. I don't know why sometimes it won't. There we go. All right, so I'm going to resize it just a little smaller. All right, and then I'm gonna center it a little bit more. All right, that's to my liking. I hope you guys like this video. If you didn't catch catch on, or, or if I left something out, which I may have, uh, just put a note in the comments, and uh, I'll respond to all comments in the YouTube comments. All right, good luck out there.